Hi, this is TJ Muleman from Standard Co. with another Metabase tutorial. This will be a brief one. Uh, something that we at Standard Co. do a lot is embed dashboards in other people's websites, uh, in their own systems. Um, and what we love about Metabase is that they give a lot of tools for controlling the user experience. So, for example, this is a demo dashboard we created for a school district. We do a lot of work with school districts for visualizing data in real time about their student body. So, for example, here I have a school. We're going to call it Brookwood High School, my alma mater in Gwinnett County. Um, and this is not real data, obviously. Uh, and what we have here over, over here is this language arts average score. So for the entire student body, the made up student body at Brookwood High School, uh, the language arts average is 82. Now this is across all of their language arts classes. Um, and what you might be interested in finding out in here is how many of those kids or which of those kids are actually failing language arts, uh, kids who have a, a below 70. So maybe I pick Brookwood High School and I click this button and up pops all of the kids who have a score of 70 or below from Brookwood High School. Pretty cool. But the problem is, if I'm on this dashboard, I can be like, hey, maybe I want to toggle this over to MacArthur High School. Um, and you get all the kids who are failing uh, or 70 or below from MacArthur. Maybe I want to control that user experience. Maybe I don't want them to be able to select the high school. There's a couple ways of doing that. this, uh, but the th way that we found that's really, um, really handy is you can edit the dashboard. So edit, and then go to click behavior for this particular module. So right now we're just doing language arts, so click on the click behavior. And you'll notice that I've already set this up to go to a public dashboard. Um, and there is a uh, parameter. This is a really sneaky little parameter that we just discovered. It's called hide parameters. Notice it's a pound sign at the very end of the URL. Pound sign hide parameters equals school. And when you do that, let's save. Okay, I'll click on this again. And you'll notice the filter is gone. This is super helpful if you are. Um, Again, wanting to control uh, the user experience and not let them select which school uh, that they see. Um, and you'll, you'll notice that it actually has all the schools. That's because I didn't pick the school in the, in the previous dashboard. But the point here is uh, Metabase has a lot of features, especially with signed embed. Uh, when you pass this parameter in the signed embed, it gets encrypted uh, so that it can't, you can't, you're not subject to like a man in the middle attack. So it's a really useful way uh, to control uh, the, uh, the experience for the end user and, and turning off uh, certain things they can or cannot filter. So again, you want to go to emphasize this one more time. You're going to go to click behavior and you're going to, uh, pick or add the hide parameters, parameter, hide parameters, at the end of the URL with a pound sign or a hashtag. Uh, we've, in other videos, we've covered signed embed, we've covered uh, linking and all this sort of stuff. So we're not going to get into that here. We're only focusing on hide parameters. So yeah, if you want to hide a parameter uh, on, a, on a dashboard you're clicking through, that's all you need to add. If you have any other questions about Metabase or want to talk to us about uh, the dashboards we do for education or in global health, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks so much.